Welcome to another Parks Alliance Read Along. Today's guest is Pennsylvania State Representative Morgan Cephas, who is in our green room now and will be joining us in just a couple minutes. I'm now going to bring on my co-host, Lula, and we're going to chat for a little bit and tell you what we're up to uh, before we have the representative read her favorite children's book. Hello, Lula. How are you today? Hi, Steve. How are you? I'm doing well. Happy Monday. Happy Monday. Well, it was a pretty exciting Monday for us. So pretty restful and mindful Monday for us, wasn't it? Yes. Yeah, so we, um, if you missed it this morning, we are starting our Mondays with Mindful Monday, Meditation Monday, I'll say. And we had our first um, Meditation Monday that streamed this morning at 9 a.m. So pretty much every Monday for about 10 minutes, we will do some type of like meditation exercise. Today we have Brandon, who is excellent in leading us with just the breathing exercise of kind of calming yourself and just redirecting your thoughts to oh, yeah. more present. So we will have another one next week. I will we'll share more detail about that upcoming week. But if you missed it, you can always go back and rewatch it. The whole week, whenever you want mm -hmm. to. Absolutely. It's a really, really, hit a really great breathing exercise, which was yeah. excellent. And uh, we did it at 9 a.m. this week, but we realized from a lot of comments we got uh, that nine, uh, 8 o'clock would probably be better because a lot of people have to be at virtual work at 9 o'clock. So we're going to do 8 o'clock next week and see how that works out. So we will let you know shortly when that is. However, we also can go to our Facebook page or yeah. even easier place to find our, all of our archive videos is our YouTube channel. And I'm going to show you right now what our YouTube channel looks like here. It's going to bring up a tab that has that here. And then you can see, you, uh, you can go here. And what I'm going to do right now is I'm also going to drop a link to our YouTube channel mm -hmm. in, the ch in our comments here, which you'll, you'll be able to see. And here we go. That is how you can get to the YouTube channel and subscribe. So please do, uh, do take a look there and, uh, and subscribe. It's a really nice because you can see from that brief glimpse there, everything's nicely organized in, in folders and find it there. So it's a lot easier to find than finding the Facebook archives, especially with the ones that are, you know, a few days old. So yes. that's that we really want you to check that out. And I'm sorry that I'm looking down. I'm just reading and also preparing. So just want to give everyone a heads up. <laughs> um, yeah, so we have our YouTube, like Steve said, mm -hmm. we have our med Meditation Mondays, and then we're back with our fourth week, I want to say, of yep, reading. This is our fourth week, yeah. Week of virtual reading, and we're super excited to have State Representative Morgan Cephas, and we'll bring her on um, just shortly in a few seconds. So if you missed it, please, uh, not miss it, if you just joined us, please invite the kids so we can um, all listen to our State Representative read mm -hmm. her uh, favorite book. So, and if you also are watching, if you can comment below to let us know where you're watching from so we can give you a shout out. Also, if you're uh, watching from her community, maybe she can get to know you as well. So feel free to comment in the comment section. And, and please share the broadcast as well. Hit that share button and uh, let people know you're watching. And also they can come back and watch that, click that same link from that share and come back and watch the recording at any time. So ready to bring our representative on? Yes, let's bring her on. All right, here we go. A little bit. Yay! Wow. <laughs> How are you? I don't know. I'm going a little super crazy, but things like this keeps you energetic and exciting. Excited yeah. to get to see people and you know have great conversations. So I'm excited. So are you working from home? How are you coping with like I know you're always out in the community and you know chit chatting with folks, but how has that um, new normal happened for you? It's been interesting. I've learned a lot more about technology. I didn't know Zoom even existed before this. I thought everything was done on Skype. Right. Um, I mean, but we're still rocking and rolling as much as we can. So, you know, of course, our offices are closed to the public, but um, all of our phone calls are getting forwarded to a um, Harrisburg cell phone that we have. Mm -hmm. and we're directing traffic uh, that way. And we also do a food distribution with a couple of um, civic associations, press conferences, Zoom meetings, you name it, we're doing it. So, yeah. Right. You guys have been pretty awesome with responding to my phone calls and emails. Uh, shout out to your staff. They've been pretty cool with that. And we're so grateful to have you. But I wanted to talk before you start reading your favorite book, um, before we start talking about that, just a little bit more about you and your background and also what you're currently working on. Um, if there are any resources that you would like to meet our community to know that could be useful during this time, I think we could 
great. Yeah. So I am in my second term um, as an elected. I was born and raised in the Winfield community. Um, again, I represent the 192nd Legislative District, which is Winfield, Overbrook, Haddington, Carroll Park, Overbrook Farms, and Morris Park. Um, mm -hmm. I like to say that we are a tale of two cities where, you know, we have a significant poverty rate, but we also have um, uh, working class and middle class uh, mm -hmm. residents that live here. Um, but we also have a lot of young families, um, a lot of great schools, a lot of great uh, institutions, a lot of great recreation centers. And, uh, you know, we're just, you know, able to work together. This has been, you know, although tragic, it really has shown um, a lot of the community coming together to support each other which is exciting from giving out school meals to right. you know, participating in reading activities, to giving out food for families. Communities really just have come together. And, you know, some of the things, you know, I've worked in Harrisburg on previously are issues around women incarcerated, right. Um, ensuring families are staying together during that time. Additionally, I've been working on maternal mortality issues related to pregnant mothers. Mm -hmm. um, but right now, um, I'm working on an issue around bridging the digital divide. Yes. Um, as you've seen, you know, there's a lot of schools going online. The School District of Philadelphia is doing virtual learning. But you have a lot of communities that don't have access to the resources to build out that type of infrastructure. Right. Um, not only do you have to get the technology, purchase the technology, but you have to consider the um, the broadband needs, the internet needs that a lot of our, um, our homes are in need of. When you are in a city that has 26% of a poverty rate, um, mm -hmm these issues tend to get elevated um, more so, you know, during, you know, a COVID-19 pandemic. Um, so that's some of the, that's one of the big pieces that I'm working on. Yes, the governor is, um, did create a fund, but right. hypothetically when he transitions, they could potentially get rid of that when communities are still in need. So it's not just about Philadelphia, it's about Allentown, it's about Pittsburgh and ensuring that communities have you know, what they need in order to continue to, to be in this virtual space that we are in now. Absolutely. And you mentioned that with the times changing, the needs are increasing, especially with a lot of things shutting down. You talked about the schools um, and, our, and our kids really, and just not having the technology to even attend their schools and being able to do their normal routine of doing homework or communicating with their teachers. That's been a huge um, hindrance that I noticed that within not just in Philly, but all over the place. And I think that speaks a lot about just what's going on in the world and how people are affected. Yeah, I mean, I, and I wanna echo, you know, organizations like, you know, the Parks Alliance, we've been working tirelessly trying to elevate, you know, these issues up in Harrisburg, you know, up in the federal government. Um, but unfortunately it takes this type of a crisis for right. government to, you know, respond in an equitable way. Right. Um, but I think, you know, they say it over in other countries, you got to use every crisis. You have to use every crisis as an opportunity. Mm -hmm. And I think this is an opportunity for us to have honest conversations about mm -hmm. the inequities, you know, that exist across our systems, not mm -hmm. just education, um, but access to green spaces, um, yeah. access to green spaces, access to quality health care, housing. Um, I mean, you name it. This is, you know, really putting a thumb on government and forcing elected officials to be leaders right now and really move the needle, not just for big business, but for right. our families. Right, oh, that's such a great point. Yes, we have someone watching from West Philly. Hi, Chef Larry. <laughs> so just kind of shifting our gear a little bit, um, we invited you to read one of either your favorite children's book or something that you picked yourself. If you could tell us what book that would be and why you picked it. Okay, so I picked, um, you know, we're just, this is, you know, 2020. It's the hundredth year women have gotten the right to vote. So yes. you know, I just had to pick a book. Yeah, <laughs> just represents all of the amazing things that uh, women have done. You know, in history, are doing today. So I've chosen A is for awesome. 23 iconic women who have changed the world. So oh, that's amazing. Yes, yes, yes. So it's a really <laughs> nice mixture of women. Um, they take us through the alphabet, which mm -hmm. is great. Uh, they don't have names for X, Y, and Z. So <laughs> thing. Okay. <laughs> we have to set that up as we go. But yeah, so I selected this book again in honor of this being the hundredth year 
of women, you know, getting the right to vote, women being at the table in politics more, be, women being at the leadership table, um, not being on the menu, but really writing the agenda, pushing policies that impact families every day. So wow, you know, learn about, you know, some awesome women today. What a great message. And as you see, like our young people are very involved in our everyday, you know, both of uh, uh, voicing their opinion about the different things that's affecting them as well. So this is perfect to learn from our, so I'm going to let you take over. I'm going to let myself off and do it, do it whenever you're ready. Oh, I'm so sorry to interrupt you. So something with our voice, I mean, uh, your vocal is, we can't hear uh, you. Let's see. Okay, can you hear me now? We can hear you now. Let me take myself off and then. Okay. Okay, so uh, I'm going to go And can you hear me? Oh, that's so weird. So I'm gonna stay on for some reason whenever I'm back on, you we can hear you, but without okay. so I'm just gonna stay here. Okay, perfect. Listen, I love it. Okay, here we go. We can hear you now. Go ahead. Okay. I'll kick it off again. <laughs> um, so again, this is A for Awesome, 23 iconic women that have changed um that have changed our history. There's so many women in here that you already know about. Some of them um, are going to be new. So after this, we're all about homework assignments. I mm -hmm. challenge you to identify that one woman that you didn't know about and do some research about them and, you know, make sure that you use this to inspire you to become a great woman or a great young man um, so you can change the world too. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay. Hi, my, I'm Juno, and this is gonna be our narrator throughout the entire time. There's a whole world of inspiring heroes. <laughs> Oops, sorry. <laughs> no, he's gonna kill me. There's a whole world of inspiring heroes out there. Here are some of my favorites. Ready for some adventure? Let's go. Okay. All right, good screening. A is for the awesome aviator, Amelia Earhart. The first woman to fly solo across the Atlantic, the stars seemed near enough to touch and never before have I seen so many. Okay. You might know this one. Don't try to lessen yourself for the world. Let the world catch up to you. B is for Beyonce, a singer, songwriter, actress, producer, and all around Queen B. Isn't that fun? The next, let's see if you can see. In order to be irreplaceable, one must always be different. C is for the forever chic Coco Chanel, designer and OG girl balls. Okay. Let's see, great. D is for Dorothy Hodgkins, a crystal, a crystal grapher who won the Nobel Prize for succeeding in the impossible. The next, and I know we mentioned a uh, hundred years of uh, voting rights for women. We are here not because we are lawbreakers. We are here in our efforts to become lawmakers. E is for the different, the defiant suffragette, Emmeline Pankhurst, who helped women in the to win the right to vote. When anyone tells me I can't do anything, I'm just not listening anymore. F is for the flamboyant and fierce Flojo, the fastest woman of all time. To create one's world in any of the arts takes courage. G is for the groundbreaking artist, Georgia O'Keeffe, mother of the modernist art movement. 
I was the conductor of the Underground Railroad eight years, and I can say what most conductors can't say. I never ran my train off the track, and I never lost a passenger. H is for Harriet Tubman, the brave abolitionist who helped hundreds of slaves to freedom. Next. I is for fashion legend Air Iris Apfel, who proves that your own style is the best style of them all. When you don't dress like everybody else, you don't have to think like everybody else. Next. J is for chef and author Julia Child, whose zest for French cooking inspired millions. Learn from your mistakes, be fearless, and above all, have fun. Courage is when you have a choice and you choose to be courageous. K is for Katherine Graham, the formidable first female publisher of the, Wall of the Washington Post. L is for Lucille Ball, comedic genius and the first woman ever to run a major television studio. Next, M is for Malela, whose rallying cry for equitable in education, equality in education, was heard around the world. When the whole world is silent, even one voice becomes powerful. N is for the tempestuous and talented Nina Simone, singer, songwriter, and activist. I'll tell you what freedom is to me, no fear. You all might know this one. O is for Oprah, self-made television icon, philanthropist, role model, and the list goes on. I wish you, I wish you curiosity and confidence, and I wish you ethics, and enlightenment, I wish you guts. P is for Pat McGrath, makeup maestro and businesswoman. Creativity is the most important skill. Don't be scared to experiment. Just don't experiment on your parents' walls or anything. I am not afraid of anything. Q is for Queen Elizabeth I, whose quick wit, strategy, and tenacity brought a golden age to England. You might know this one, she is our saving grace. R is for Ruth Bader Ginsburg, Supreme Court Justice and the Queen of Dissent. Fight for the things that you, can, you care about, but do it in a way that will lead others to join you. S is for Sakagawi, an intrepid interpreter and guide for Lewis and Clark's historic expeditions. I believe that if you're just if you'll just stand up and go, life will open up for you. T is for the rock and roll superstar Tina Turner, who holds the record for the most concert tickets sold by a single performer. I didn't know that. U is for Ursula K. Le Guin, prolific and prize-winning science fiction author. We read books to find out who we are, what we ourselves are, and may become. V is for Venus, Roman goddess of love, beauty, and victory. They totally could have used Venus Williams, but that's all right. Um, we'll move on from that one. W is for Wu Senqin, the one and only female emperor in Chinese history. And the last is a mirror. <laughs> you got a glimpse of my kitchen. X, Y, and Z are for extraordinary you in the zillions of brilliant, brave adventures you will have. And that's it. I learned a lot. I don't know. <laughs> there were <laughs> things that I did not know. And that's amazing. Yeah. And that's such a great book because not only are you telling, uh, is the book telling that anyone, you know, whatever you work hard and envision to do, you could be. Mm -hmm. And maybe we can add your name to it as well. 
listen, I would love it. (laughs) Seriously, you have an opportunity. Um, I love these type of books uh, for our young people because it it allows them in a fun way to learn a little bit about their history. And, uh, you know, it's just extremely diverse and extremely diverse, you know, not just in, you know, racial or ethnic background, but extremely diverse in just skill sets. And, you know, a lot of, you know, with this new generation coming up, the one thing that I admire about them is that they really find follow their passion. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, if you have a passion that you um, can identify with, there is someone in this world that has changed the world with that same passion so you can learn from them. I 100% agree. Yes. So where could people go to uh, maybe contact you or your staffers? What's the best way to do that? So since everything's online now, (laughs) <laughs> you can uh, you can email me. I'm at mcphas, C-E-P-H-A-S, at pahouse.net, or I have a series of uh, social media outlets. Um, mm-hmm. I am on Facebook at uh, Morgan Cephas, but I also have a state rep page, which is uh, state rep Morgan Cephas. You can go on Instagram at Morgan underscore Cephas. Again, that's C-E-P-H-A-S. And you can go on my Twitter, just uh, rep Morgan Cephas. Uh, I don't do so well on Twitter. I'm still learning technology. Mm -hmm. So Mm -hmm. if you want to get me, Facebook and Instagram is the best way. Perfect. And we, as you can see, there is a uh, scrolling down her information. So feel free to write that down. But we'll also put in a comment section. So for those of you who are just joining us, it'll be easy to um, find her contact information that way as well. We appreciate you taking time out of your busy day to join us. We appreciate you reading an amazing book for our young people, but also I learned a lot as well. And we thank you for all the work that you are doing uh, for our community. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thanks for having me. And thank you for tolerating the one bark. Uh, I think they really are. Animals are very welcome in this this new, brave new world of live streaming. And and, uh, we always like to see them as well, too. And also, I think it was great to have both of you on stream. Not only did we have those those two dozen fantastic women in the, the book and one fantastic woman reading it. We had an, also had an awesome woman, two awesome women on screen the whole time there. So I thought that was, maybe that was meant to be. <laughs> <laughs> thank you for that. Thank you. And thank you for letting me join you. Of course. So everyone will be back tomorrow at five o'clock. Um, if you missed it, you could rewatch this because it's recorded and reshare it as well on your page. And we'll see you tomorrow at five o'clock. Thank you so much. Bye. Bye. Bye.